Hey, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. And Selena Quinn. We are talking about uh, some more vital sex or tantric sex. Mm. We've been demonstrating a couple of techniques that have to do with, you know, first eye gazing. So that was the first technique. And now we are going to uh, enter into breathing together. The breath. The breath. And so, um, you know, what, uh, what is important is that the moment we start synchronizing our, our breathing, uh, what we are saying is that we are synchronizing our life force. Because mm. breathing has oxygen, you know, for the, the, the Hindu tradition, uh, the breath is prana, which is a sacred form of, uh, of the vital force or the vital energy. Mm. So what we are literally doing is like we are bringing the spirit in a cycle or in a rhythm which is synchronized. So we are synchronizing our, our rhythms, natural rhythms. Like a wave with another person. Exactly. Mm. And by bringing the awareness to that, instead of just me breathing in my own space by myself or Selena breathing in her own space by herself, what we are doing is like we are really activating a flow which is, which is synchronized. So eye gazing first and then we activate the, the, the breathing and you will see that what happens is that suddenly we, we start really merging energies and mm. coming closer and closer together. So let's demonstrate a little bit how okay. it works. Uh, it's not necessary after a while to maintain the eyes open. It means that we can really, at, at one point, if we feel like it, close our eyes mm. and go into simply feeling the other person's breath. Uh, right now, we are not holding hands. There is no physical contact. It's just, you know, one step at a time so that you really understand different steps. Eye gazing first, then the breathing, and then we will maybe engage into different forms of uh, light touch. Okay? Mm. So okay. let's, let's start with maybe a minute of that and then we will feel on the reflection mm. on what's happening. Yeah. So it's breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. Okay, so um, what's happening inside of you right now? So for me, I again, oh, that's very bright. Yeah. Again, I feel like um, like I'm surrendering into the practice. Surrendering into the practice. Into the practice of of the breath, being present in my breath, and connecting with someone else's breath. Mm -hmm. But it takes a little bit of breaking down some of those, <coughs> some of those boundaries of, mm, this is, this is quite an, you know, an energetic interaction. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like any barriers that want to be put up, it's like, okay, no, it's okay, I can relax into that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So did you feel um, a certain degree of uh, discomfort? Maybe look into it. I would say that I... Well, I'm comfortable with you. If I was to sit down and do that practice with a stranger, mm -hmm. I would find some uncomfortableness at the beginning. Mm -hmm. 
until I could see into their eyes and see if I could fully relax into that person, mm -hmm. relax with that person's energy or not. Yeah. So for me, I find it, um, I did find it actually quite, it's, it's enjoyable, you know, it's like, yeah, just looking in someone's eyes and breathing. It's a beautiful connection, mm -hmm. but I, I need to, my, my whole body and spirit need to be aligned vibrationally and, um, and know that I can trust that person. Yeah. Important. Exactly. That you feel safe, right? In mm. the space that nothing, you know, if, if for instance, we didn't have an agreement and then suddenly we are in the middle of this practice and I jump on her, or I grab her and bring her closer, then it's going to break the flow and interrupt the level of comfort that you're facing. Mm. So it's very important that when you engage into a, into a certain type of practice, that you actually have a kind of agreement and you decide to stick to the practice for a given period of time, to have a certain level of safety. Yeah. And so um, right there, you know exactly what to expect. You know that we're going to practice for a minute and then after that, we're going to do some sharing. Um, but it's like, it's important that the safety is there. So what also helps a lot is to decide before you engage into the practice, who is leading, you know, because right now, for instance, we were breathing together. At one point, you were breathing a little bit faster. So what naturally happened is that I was following a little bit your, your breath. Mm. Uh, that's what, yeah, that's what my notice. experience. Yeah, not, not even noticed. But it's like, um, and also in terms of the timing. So for instance, using a timer, using structure actually for vital sex and tantric sex. I will talk more about that in another video. But it's, it's like it gives a certain safe sense of uh, safety and, and comfort. Now, but with yeah. a but with but with a friend or a lover, sometimes it's like align it. My my inclination would be much more to let it flow. Yeah. Rather yeah. than use a timer. Yeah, exactly. So we can uh, you know we can check that that specific question and see what feels you know appropriate. Different people mm. have different tastes or different different practices. And also, it's something that we would discover if we were engaging to those practices together. Then we try one day with. Certain ways, so there is space for experimenting and trying, you know, mm. different, different ways of doing it. Um, I want to talk a little bit about my own experience of being there in your presence. So, uh, what I noticed straight away is that uh, you were looking at me with lots of tenderness. Like, straight away, when, uh, when we started eye gazing, I felt like a tremendous sense of love for you, mm. like really deep. It was like, oh my god, I see you, I recognize you, I have such a deep. Uh, respect and, and honor and and uh, recognition for you so mm -hmm. it it really allowed me to have a, a gateway into your your energy uh, the eye contact was the first step now we start breathing together then and now energetically you see there is there is no sexual desire right now inside mm -hmm. of me but I'm feeling really energetically activated by each other I have the feeling that there is an energetic circulation that mm -hmm. is being put in place and we are building we are kind of starting to, to rise to, to new levels. And already now, I'm, I'm feeling extremely sensitive. I'm feeling emotionally vulnerable as well, much more than, than before. Like mm. right now, I'm softening. There is a part of me that is, is relaxing. I can, uh, yeah, I can feel mm. your, you know, your love and your, and your presence. Okay, mm. so now we are going to dive into the next uh, level, which is, go is going to be to involve a little bit of physical touch. Mm. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, let's see.